Hello everyone, thanks for joining me and welcome to my channel, Lori from Art Lore. So today, <clears throat> 18 by 24, and um, I have been inspired by uh, the ocean and the sky. We were in Florida for a little while. We actually froze our butts off in clear water, so we followed the sun and went to Fort Lauderdale and we hung out there. And we're actually supposed to be in the Keys right now, but it is really cold there. So, um, anywho, we're going to do uh, ocean-inspired uh, canvas today. And um, using a new uh, color that I haven't used in a while, I've used, or I should say brand, a, a, a new brand kind of sort of. I've used uh, a couple different colors, but it's only like a couple of times. And so um, this blue is perfect. So we're going to get down to the canvas. We're going to make a mess. I already have had a whole pot of coffee today. So instead of coffee, I have a Lindor candy. Yes, uh, chocolate truffle. Yum, yum. So that's going to be my uh, replacement for my coffee today. All right, so let's get down to the canvas and we're going to bloom. I'll take you down. All righty. So the first one up is called Blue Quartz and it's by uh, Treasure Gold. Um, and it's a folk art uh, brand, Treasure Gold. They come in a bottle. Let me show you. Um, their colors are really, really pretty and they're quite fluid. This is what I'm using today. Um, yep, folk art, Treasure Gold. Blue Quartz, really, really, really pretty color. So that's what we're doing today. And we're going to go right here in the middle and pour a nice amount of that down. I'm not gonna be afraid of it at all because it's such a beautiful color. Next up is uh, Tri Art Deep Gold. And um, gold you know how i am with gold i love it i love it i love it and um we don't need to be afraid of that as well can never have too much gold and i just want to check something i just had a paranoid um moment that you weren't in frame or focus i don't know why but I guess it's better to check than not to check. Go away, go away. Boy, that, that bubble did not want to pop. Um, I did make up the colors yesterday because we just got home on Saturday and we had a bunch of people over for dinner. So I cooked all day, which was wonderful. I did my spaghetti sauce, I did meatballs, I did lasagna, beautiful salad. Um, it was kind of fun. So today is the day to paint. Today is the day to paint for sure. Uh, next up, this one here, I did the treasure gold and then, um, or the blue quartz, I should say. And then I added in a little bit of phthalo cyanide green just to get this beautiful, yum, malicious, uh, oceany, blue, watery, greeny, color it's just gorgeous you know when you're down in the keys which we didn't get to do uh this trip but um when you're looking at the sky and the water the sky is blue and there's color of this in the ocean it's just gorgeous all the different blues and greens this next up here is rich espresso and i thought i would just give this a try it's got some beautiful gold shimmer to it and this is a deco art metallic and I thought this would be kind of fun to introduce this in there as well. Um, it was kind of fun, you know, just to take and pour this right out of the bottle and have it exactly the way I wanted it. Um, I didn't want it too dark uh, because with the softness of the ocean, you don't want anything too dark to take that away. So I, um, I thought, hmm, let's give this a whirly bird. And um, sure enough, it worked. So, okay, last but not least, this one here, I have no clue, um, you know, what even color we could name this, but 
um, it's the quartz blue, and I added less of the green. So it's kind of a blue. It's got a little bit of a green undertone. So we're just going to drizzle that on there as well. And um, I'm not going to be afraid to see that either. So let's just do this for fun. Um, we're just going to kind of add just a little bit more here and there. Um, not a whole lot, but just drizzle, you know, for safekeeping, add a little bit of color. I think I'm going to stop though at this color here because I don't need anything else going on in there. That, that blue is fine. Um, the last blue that I put on there. It's okay. I really want to see this teal in there and the brown. We'll just for fun drizzle a little bit more of the um, espresso there. Okay, now let me just wiggle you back in the center a little bit. We are going to do, this is four to one. My flow trial was just a little bit thick. So I did four to one Aussie flow oxide black. Alrighty, here we go. Right in the center. All right, you know the drill. High fan, cool air. Okay, here we go. Well, not real sure. I probably should have made up new cell activator because that cell activator has been sitting a while and my room was cold. Um, I don't know. I think I'm going to give it a second, see if this sets up and then I may spin it once. And if I don't like it, then I'm going to do it over. Well, it did set up quite pretty. Um, I didn't have to do anything. Uh, the cells are just very soft. We're going to give it a spin a here. See where it takes us. 
and we'll go from there. Color, I love the color, so soft, very much like the ocean. Um, grab my little board here. All right, let's just see what we have. That little captain's hook has to come off, but I'm hoping that'll just come right off the edge there. Okay, I didn't like it. <clears throat> I did not like the center. Oh, I didn't like a lot of things about it. So we're just gonna do this over. We're gonna put the blue down. This is the blue quartz. I'm gonna throw that down first. And then we're going to throw down our gold. Got a great big bubble. All right, and next up is the quartz with the phthalo cyanine green. And I think I'm just gonna add just a little bit more of that. And the uh, rich espresso, that really showed up really pretty. Um, it didn't uh, fight or compete against anything. And it kind of played well together with the cell activator, which I'm quite surprised. Um, I didn't think the two of those would connect very well because it, it actually added, a, uh, turned into, in some areas, a little bit um, kind of a smoky gray. And that's quite pretty as well. And then last but not least is this really cool blue. And there we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, I think what I want to do is add a little bit more of the teal. And let's see, what else? Uh, we'll add a little bit more of this blue. Gosh, I'm spilling everywhere. And just maybe a scant more of the espresso. All right. Now I'm not going to add nearly as much cell activator. I think I added too much. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, I fan cool air.
All right, that's a little better. <clears throat> um, let's let it set up. Okay, let's do this. We're gonna spin. And we know it's gonna be messy. <clears throat> And I hope I, I'm pretty sure I don't have to add any more paint. That's for sure. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's a lot of pillow on there. Let's do this a little more. <clears throat> Excuse me. Boy, my allergies. It doesn't take much for me to come back to Michigan. I've been here two days <clears throat> and I am like, ugh, can't breathe. Uh, I've got to get rid of that little guy. Those little captain's hooks. Um... They really annoy me. Okay, let's just take a peek here. Okay. Liking the cell action better in the center. Let's do this a little bit more. All right. Yep, it's coming off, coming off. I'm going to have to scrape off my little hooky duck there because that is not leaving. Uh, but we'll see, you know, maybe with a couple more spins, um, it may disappear. Yeah, that's got to come off for sure. Oh boy, so much paint. But this one is way better. Uh, this little guy here, I don't like at all. So we're going to bury you. There we go. Use the back end of your skewer and that does help to bury little tiny spots that you don't like. Um, I know I have a lot of paint on here, so we're going to have to for sure spin again. So we might as well do it. Um, but I'm liking the center way better. Let's do that. <clears throat> Maybe my little captain's hook will come off after all. It is coming closer and closer to the edge. So um, once it gets real close to the edge, if I'm done spinning, it'll be super easy to scrape. And I do see lots of paint on my sides coming down. The new ridge of color, like the paint is flowing very nice off the edge. Um, I used less cell activator and I think that really helped because I think I overdid it. Oh yeah, that's leaving. Good, good. I'm gonna encourage that off. All right. Oh yeah, this is way better. Fix that right there. Um, yeah, this is way better. This is better. Colors are better. Uh, there's color now. Um, yeah, it's looking good. But I do want to measure the center. Let's see here. Yep, we got to spin again. So that'll help to get my little captain's hook off. Um, but while I'm here, let me see, I'm gonna find a little bit of a white spot, a little bit of white paint and go over that edge right there. All right, let's check that corner. That looks good. And that one looks good. All right, let's do this again. <clears throat> If this even remotely dries decent, it'll be a miracle because there was so much paint on there. But I think I, for the most part, I think I got quite a bit of it off. We'll see. And I have to come up with a better drying system. Oh, my hooky duck is almost gone. <clears throat> a little bit more. And then I'll just have to put some white on the side there just so that because that's kind of negative space and 
The little hook is going to be in the middle on the side there, just sitting there all by itself doing nothing. So it will have no purpose. This is quite pretty. I love the color palette. Yeah, this is way, way better. Okay, now we're going to check again. Almost there. All right, so I think what I'll do is spin off um, camera, but I'm going to take you down and show you the wet results. It's really pretty. I'm much happier with this one than the first one. Okay, let me take you down. All right, so here we are. You can see the shimmer. It's so pretty. The colors are so beautiful. Uh, they work so well together and they're very much ocean inspired. Isn't that cool? That little zigzaggy zaggedy thing there with the cell activator. You can see the shimmer. There's that uh, beautiful rich espresso. Oh, it's so, so pretty. Um, sparkle, sparkle right there. That's a cool bloom petal, I should say. Uh, the colors all came out and played with each other very, very well. This is the center, much better. Oh my gosh, so much better. Um, loving this up here. And got a little bit of negative space going up there in the corner. My captain's hook disappeared. This is really pretty. Hit the uh, cell activator, a little odd right there, but you know, I think it kind of works. I don't mind it at all. This is cool in here. It all worked out really well. I'm happy with it. I love the color palette. It's really pretty. Uh, the uh, blues and the teal with the rich espresso, it all just kind of balanced and worked together. And there's some of the gold coming through. Yep, they all came out to play. So there it is, everyone. Thank you so much for letting me in your home and joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yes, I had to do it over. I just couldn't, I couldn't, I just didn't like the center at all. And, uh, this one has much more color and, um, yeah, much happier with it. Thanks again for joining me. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, that'd be great if you did. Give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and don't forget to click that bell. And until the next canvas, everyone, you all enjoy your day today. See you later. Bye-bye.